In terms of what we look for in partners, um, there's no particular industry that we would necessarily favour from a technical standpoint. The um, technology we've built is, is meant to be uh, you know, industry agnostic and we think we can provide value to pretty much every industry um, and also every geography as well. Um, the profile of the partners that I think we have worked best with in the past, uh, it's highly collaborative, um, you know, it, it's quite an active, uh, it requires a lot of active participation um, from, the, from the corporate partner. Um, so you know, they need to have a, a pretty innovative uh, mindset. Um, so that, those, those are the relationships that have kind of worked best. Stanley Black & Decker is, is obviously a company that we're working with. Uh, we're working with their breakthrough innovation team that they have here in Boston. And that is an example of a, a very, very collaborative um, partnership that we've had. Um, but then we also work you know, right the way down in terms of scale to you know, very early stage medical device companies. We're working with like a, an eye implant company at the moment um, with a very, very small engineering team all the way up to um, potentially a very, very large deployment with a, a, a life sciences company which will be in the order of thousands of, of, of users. Um, so it kind, of, it kind of runs the gamut, um, which, is, which is nice for us, I suppose. We recently raised uh, $2.6 million uh, from a mixture of, of uh, venture capitalists, uh, mainly in the West Coast, and then some Boston Angels. Um, the Boston Angels in particular are very focused on the artificial intelligence ecosystem, which is incredibly strong in Boston uh, and has been historically. Um, so that money is going to be used to um, scale up our sales team uh, and our engineering team. So we'll be growing headcount over the next year or so, I think to about 20. Um, we've, we may need to get a new office, <laughs> so it might go on new office space as well. Um, but it's, uh, and we're also, you know, we have um, kind of rarely for a company our size, we have an R&D department. It's one of the reasons that I think that we're such an interesting partner for large corporates is because a lot of the pain they're feeling we feel. We have uh, research scientists whose job it is to do everything from you know, basic research on our NLP um, through to kind of moonshot stuff, you know, wouldn't it be great if we could read the mind of an engineer, uh, and then everything in between. Um, I think it's one of the things that makes us, you know, uh, such, such a good partner to work with. Um, and so we'll be scaling up on the R&D side as well, um, and also launching a couple more products this year. Um, so one of the things that we're going to add with the money is the ability to identify people based on ideas. So as a user at one of our corporate R&D clients um, who is working on a, a new idea, for example, we will match that against a bunch of technical literature and identify if there's anyone external to the company that is working on something similar and try and broker an introduction, especially if that person is in, in, in academia. Um, so that's a very, very exciting thing. Um, yeah, so sales, engineering, and I think some more R&D. We've made a very conscious decision about diversity as a, as a hiring policy. Um, I think that given the scope and the scale of the company that we're trying to build, having representation of different groups early uh, is incredibly important. I also think that I'm incredibly involved in hiring right now, and I'm already stretched pretty thin. Um, your company will look like your first 10 employees and culture and diversity pays dividends not just in the short term but you know even more in the medium and long term and it's something you need to get right very very early um, because there becomes a tipping point where the, the, the culture can become toxic and it becomes harder to hire and harder to do great work because actually you know yes we have intellectual property and you know we have a bunch of really cool tech but actually the thing that, that, that brings value to the people that we work with is the quality of our team.